Hey guys, we're here at the Tucson Village Farm with Active Galactic Videos. So what's an astronomy team doing out on a farm? To get away from all the city lights? To get away from the noise? Actually, we're here to find out why barns are red. Why are barns red? Some people might suggest it's so they stand out better against a green or a hay colored background, or so cows can see it better, or maybe tractors are afraid of the color red. But actually, barns are red because red paint is cheap and barns need a lot of paint. And the cost of red paint is so low because of all the dead stars out there in space. The dye for red paint comes from red ochre, or hematite, also known as anhydrous iron oxide, or rust. The fusion of this material in massive enough stars ends as soon as it begins. The cutoff for atomic fusion in stars is 56 nucleons, 26 protons, and 30 neutrons that make up iron. After this, the star dies in a spectacular explosion called a supernova. After about 14 billion years, the universe has seen a lot of dead stars. This means that red ochre is plentiful and dirt cheap. The ejected particles of a supernova can end up in a planetary nebula, and sometimes these leftovers become part of the rocky planets in a forming solar system. As a terrestrial planet cools and differentiates, most of the iron sinks to the core, but some trace amounts are left over on the surface. In the Earth's case, the leftover iron sometimes bonds with our oxygen and forms a nice rust color. Blue paint, which contains copper, is much more expensive than red paint. For perspective, only 1% of the Earth's crust is made up of copper. Think about that the next time you pass up a penny in the street. Turns out the color of barns isn't related to cows or tractors after all. So the next time somebody asks you why barns are red, you'll have an answer. Dead stars. We'll catch you guys next time on Active Galactic Videos.